What's up guys? It's been a while since I did a discussion about just about anything, but reason being is that um the reason I started this discussion thing was to kind of fill in the gaps between my videos and there is kind of another point of a gap or um, since I'm back at my mother's house as you can see uh, and my sister is back at my mother's house as you can see over there and over there and over there is that um, yeah it's gonna be tough to record games now since I'm back up here but I might go between here and my dad's so I can record down there but that's not the point. The point is um, I'm going to do this discussion because actually I'm going out later with a friend and this is the only time where I'm home alone and I can even do this. So I said, you know what, let me get a video out so well I can and I can just get this over with. That kind of hurt. Ow. I was watching a video the other day and it, it was by um, Boogie2988, if you don't know him, he's a, he's a very good YouTuber. He's a wise person, and he lives from experience. He's over, he's severely, I guess you could say severely overweight, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture, and I'll put a description. I'll put it in the description, as a link to his channel, but he's a great YouTuber, and I was watching one of his older videos called, um, what was it called? My Last Days on Earth. And don't worry, I'm not going to die or anything, but I thought this was an interesting point to talk about. Because how often do we take this life, I guess you could say, for granted? Because, you know, we're under the assumption that, you know, we live a day... We get through that day, we go to sleep, we wake up in the morning, we do it all again. And you do that for 80-something years, and then you die. But what a lot of people don't realize is that tomorrow is not promise. Anything can happen. You know? And he's, he's talking about, he's like, okay, what if a doctor told you, for whatever hypothetical reason, that tomorrow at 12... 12 a.m. You for sure will die. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's no cure. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You will die. And it really, I was like, you know what? I didn't do a discussion video. I should do a discussion video on this. Maybe it'll help you guys get to know me a little bit. Because the way I see it is that with the limited time we have here, you shouldn't waste it, you know? You should use all the time you have allotted to you to the best of your ability. And it's with a gift so vast and just mind-blowing, man, as the human life, the human existence is just, it's, it's something you should not squander. You have it. Make good use of it. Because there are people out there who did not get to use their life to their fullest. Sometimes it was their fault, sometimes it wasn't. Some people aren't as lucky as others. If you know, let's see, um, what was his name? He played uh, Chekhov in uh, Star Trek, I think Into Darkness. The newer Star Treks, Antoine, Anton, Anton Yelchin? He was only 27. That is... Shut up, phone. That, that is... Young! He was... I think he, he was in some freak accident with a car where it, like, rolled over and crushed him. Now, he... When he went to bed the night before, and the morning he woke up, he did not know he was gonna die. He had no idea, and it still happened. So, my point is that you should always use the gift you have to be on this earth very wisely because you don't know, you do not know when it can just be ripped away from you, purposefully or not. Because, honestly, 
Why? Why give it up? You only get one. Well, depends on what you believe, but I, that could lead to a whole debate about whatever. But for right now, this is this is this is this is what happens. You have a limited time, and it's not a long time. A lot can happen. And what you need to do is use, that's the biggest point, that's my biggest point of this video. Use your time wisely, do not waste it, because wasting it, you are doing mostly yourself wrong. Because scientifically, there are people out there who care. And I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want you to squander your life either. There are people out there, whether you know it or not, who are attached to you, and you may not even know it, who would be very sad if you, if they found out you wasted time. Not, I'm not even just talking about death. I'm talking about you doing, making bad decisions in your life. You doing this, that, and the third thing, where you wasted the time. Where you could have been doing something good, and you ended up wasting it. You blew your chance. And the thing is, you don't get more chances. That's your only chance. So why waste it? Because let's say you did all this stuff. You killed ten people, you robbed this, you did drugs, you, you banged all these women, right? Seems pretty good to you. And then you get ring ring... Hello, it's the doctor. You're gonna die. And there's nothing you can do about it. What do you do? When you could have had a good life with your family and your friends, and it could have been alright. Instead of, you've got all these problems. You've got all these problems you have to deal with, and now you don't even get to deal with them. Because you're out of time. But, like you said, Boogie said, alright, let's change it to, what if you have a week to live? Oh, well, actually, before I get there, what would I do if I had one more day to live? I'd, I'd be making lots and lots of phone calls, saying my goodbyes, my, just, I'd, I'd write a note explaining, and just a note, like a note saying my last words to my family. You know, I love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd probably like if this if it was today and somebody told me I have like for sure I had a day to live. After I finish this, if like if I was if this was today, I finish this recording. I'd go get a piece of paper and I write it down. I write down everything. I guess maybe a mini will, where all I want all my stuff to go. You know, if my mother would allow it. I'd write that, leave it on her bed, and I'd start making phone calls, saying my goodbyes, spending the time with my family. You know, just any, my family, my friends, I'd get everybody in one big space and just have my last good time. And just, that would be it. And 12 o'clock, I'd be gone. But then he said, all right, let's extend the time a little bit. You've got a week. You've got a week to live. What do you do then? See, with the time, with as time increases, I mean, you've got more stuff to do. You can do more things. You can spend more time with people you want to. Girlfriend, boyfriend, family, friends, etc. But now you can, like, do stuff. You can go out and spend the week in Florida come back then that'd be it you could you could do all types of things I'd be counting my blessings man I'd be I'd say I'd write down everything I was thankful for in my life clothes house resources parents family friends food water shelter all the things that I'm happy for All the things that I, I, I couldn't live without. 
Because there are people less fortunate than you. People in third world countries that don't get anything. Is it third world or first world? I think it's third world. Sorry, correct me if I missed that up. But there are people who are not as fortunate as you are. And they don't get the nice stuff you do. Mic, TV, Xbox, computer, phone, tablet, you know, house, food. So you squandering it, all the stuff you get is a just a gigantic middle finger to everybody. Just a uh, right in your face. And you don't want to do that right and it just isn't fair to waste the time that other people didn't get why should you get it and they don't especially if you're gonna throw it out if you're gonna waste it use your time on this planet wisely probably been rambling for a while I don't I, there's no timer on this so I'm just going I'm just speaking Let's give it a month. You've got a month. Let's see. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd, you know, spend time. I'd be, I'd be doing multiple things with my family, getting out with them as much as I can. My friends, obviously. And then, just keep, keep everything on track, and just have it, I just want to gather up all of my stuff. Well, all the stuff that's, you know, worth saving. And leave it here for my family. I'm a, I'm a family man. Man. I'm a family person. I, I care a lot about family. Even through these tough times I've been dealing with, if you don't know, my uncle just passed away. Um, cause I, I did a, I did a discussion video before, but I got rid of it cause, uh, I don't know, I didn't like it. But I did mention in that video that you're probably not going to see is that my uncle passed away. And he, I didn't get to know him all that well. And it tore me up, you know. And I'm not throwing a pity party for myself. This isn't what this video is about. But it's, a, it's an important point to ponder. We just take it for granted so much. And we should. Because, like I said, we're not guaranteed to wake up tomorrow. Not that I'm saying you should think negatively, like, oh, I'm gonna die tomorrow at all. I'm, the reason I'm speaking quiet is that I'm not home alone anymore. My sister just came in. But you have to realize that you've been given a gift that you can be taken away from you at any moment. It's cruel. It's an unfortunate thing. But it's a gift. Don't know why I'm doing this so much, but you should use it to the best of your ability. And don't waste it. Let's see if you had a year. I would write not just a letter, but I mean, I guess you could say a memoir, but I'm only 16, so I haven't been alive that long, therefore I don't have a lot to write about. But what I do have to write about, I have a lot of time, a whole 365 days, to think about what I want to write. And I leave it here so somebody, anybody, could have it and they could know what they didn't about me. I mean, I couldn't tell them everything. Not that I'm hiding anything or anything, but it's all the stuff that I wouldn't be able to tell all, tell everything. I'd have it. That way they can see it over and over and over and over again, you know. And I do everything that I can just to make my family happy. And I can just, my friends, everybody I care about. So that way you have a lot more time, you've got a lot more stuff to do, and you can enjoy it. I mean, I would recommend enjoying it in every situation because, you know, why well, get through it? moping. Why not spend your last days on Earth happy? Might as well. Do something crazy. And like, you know, not so crazy that it ends up ruining everything, but crazy enough 
that it would just make you happy. Something you've never done, something you would never do. I guess. Like, not, not anything bad. Like, in many, many, many videos, I've said I am deathly afraid of falling. I hate the feeling. The butterflies in your stomach whoosh, go right into your chest. I hate it. I hate rides that go up and down or just drop. It makes me very scared. One of my biggest fears to be in a plane and it just drops right out the sky or being in an elevator and it just drops right down the shaft. I, it scares me. But the one thing I want to do, just to get over the fear, is to skydive. I, if you had asked me now and I said, oh, uh, if like, now, I would say no. But maybe one day? I mean, I'm pretty sure one day I'll do it. If I was guaranteed, I would do it. For sure. Just to get it over with. Cause yeah, I'd fare. And then I'd be done with it, and that would be the end of it. But do something that is worth the time you spent, and that is, the time you spent, I mean, the time you spent on this earth. And make it worth all the stuff you've done here. You want to live your life happy. You want to make it last, and you want to make it worth the time that you have to spend here. I'm done rambling. Um, just tell me what you think, please. This is one topic I'd really like to hear feedback from, because I thought this was a pretty interesting thing to discuss. That's why I brought it. That's why I, I took the opportunity to record when I could. So, leave your suggestions in the comments, leave your comments in the comments, and just keep being awesome. And as always, peace out, y'all.